Hey, how's it going? Today, we have a lot to get done. I want to do some smelting. We're going to be doing a little bit of crafting, a little bit of testing, and a little bit more exploring. So in our last video, we found the swamp, and there's <laughs> quite a bit of stuff in the swamp. There's a cave down there I want to take a look at. That's kind of one of the first things I want to do. I want to head back over, take a look at the cave. I don't think it's going to be an artifact cave, because we could throw the Maywing out when we were in there. But we need to check to make sure. So we'll head in there, see what's in there, and then while we're in that same area, I want to build a tree platform. We found that nice new area with the different trees and stuff. I want to see if we can actually put a tree platform onto one of those trees. If so, we might be moving soon. I know, I know, we just got the village set up over here, but that's half an arc, man. Finding new places, building new bases. And I'm kind of worried about leaving all of our stuff here because if he does a map update and he does something with the pre-made buildings here, it's going to delete all of our stuff in the area. So it'll be a little bit safer in the long run. There is our usual galley. Oh, dude, I tell you what. I got lucky I have low damage on this guy. You got friends too, huh? Go that way, man. Go that way. The whole map's over that way. You want to stay right by my base. <laughs> tell you what. But then I also want to do a little bit of smelting too. So we have a bunch of the mithril or we've got the flux. We got a ton of crystals all in the last video. So I actually want to turn on the forge. We need metal anyways. We'll get that smelted up. See what the new resources are and stuff like that and kind of go from there. I've been out doing a little bit of harvesting on this guy getting ready for the tree platform. I tell you what, man, they are super expensive on wooden stuff. Let's grab this. I can use a pull feature for the rest of that. We'll get set up, do our smelting, and then build our platform and head right out. I also want to turn this stuff into blueprints. So I just kept two of the ones that we're going to keep. I was keeping extras just because I wanted to have spares, but I totally forgot we can make them into blueprints. So that'll be the safe bet. And then I looted a pair of chitin feet. Pretty good on the armor, and then a very good Ascendant Gilly chest piece. So it's been not too bad, man, not too bad. Still haven't found a long neck. Watch, we're gonna get done with this whole series, and I'm still gonna be using a regular 100% primitive long neck. It's the way it goes sometimes, man, it's the way it goes. So put that in there. So we got 600, 600, and then a half a stack also. So that'll be a good bit of metal we've been using quite a bit lately. I'm hoping I have enough for making our stuff. We do, it's, I think it's like 250. For the platform, we still got a little bit there smelting, so we should be good. Let's start off with this. Okay, well, let's leave those there. Put you in there. We'll pull the other 300 over here. Where's the pull feature? There we go. And then all I have left is the wood and the ravager. But let's turn these into blueprints. Not here, though. Yeah, actually, I gotta repair them. That's right. Need to repair them first. Do this the proper way. I also want to turn this sickle into a blueprint. It's one I looted as well. I definitely want to have a backup. So repair you. Let's drop you. We don't need that one anymore. Really miss having a grinder, man. Repair you. And repair you. Alright. Blueprints. Put you in there. And you. And you. So this one is 104 on the metal ingot. This is going to be 8. Why is it only 8? 117 durability, 109. I mean, I know this is a Mastercraft one, and that's only a journeyman, but still, dude, 8 metal ingots versus 104. It's, it's weird, man. And this one's 159. So overall, not too bad. We will save the sickle one. I don't want to make it right now. Again, we're kind of low on metal ingots. I probably should have made the tree platform first. I did not know... I didn't know that was going to damage it. We can't have broken stuff, man. My bad, my bad. Okay, don't punch the map anymore. So, let's go ahead and make these real quick, and then we'll make our tree platform right away. All right, so that's sort of take While that's doing that, get the Ravager. I got so much I want to do, man. I found another area, too. I was going to wait to tell you about. But I definitely want to do some exploring over there. It's... You just have to see. It's over near the swamp. I'm pretty excited about it. Not sure what it is, but I found it whenever I was heading back this way. Instead of coming back the normal way, like over this way, I went that direction. I know I should have waited to do the exploring on camera, but I didn't go look at anything. So it's definitely going to be something to take a look at. And let's grab these just to put them where they go. Pull you down there. Alright, we good? I think we're good. Let's grab our stuff for smelting. Nope. We're gonna build the platform first. Takes a minute. Let's make sure we do the tree one. And not the... <laughs> not the cliff one again. 
We still need resources on that. Two, three, there we go. So we got 12 of those. We got 15 on the diamonds. So that's not too bad. And 40 on this dude. I cannot believe we get so much from killing off those dwarves. Where is the flux? There we go. So first things first, let's just put one of you in there so we don't waste too many. So I'm guessing if you put more of these in there, it'll feed off of it kind of like if you had wood in a forge. I'm just guessing. So that'll smelt up all of that. I still don't know why there's so many. Oh wait, can you run them all at once? Oh, you can! Maybe that's why there's so many. That way you can go ahead and start crafting a bunch of them up at once. Because it's five, I think, for each one of these, right? It is. Interesting, okay. Well, that makes sense then, that makes sense. That's nice, okay, cool. Let that do its thing. Put our crystals back in here. Check on this. One tree platform. Nice. So there is the biggest thing I want to get done today. And then let's check our stuff before we go. So we do need a little bit more on the food. All this is pretty empty. I think we're good on that. We got 76 on the ammo. I grabbed a little bit more just in case. And I put all of our food and stuff in here. That's all crafting up too. I think it's this one, right? It is. Nice, man. Nice. So that's pretty cool, though, how this is going to run. So I'm hoping, really, really hoping, even though we're not going to be... Wait a minute. Why did that not... There we go. I hit the wrong button. Even though we're not going to be in render range, I'm hoping this stuff still all auto-crafts. It should. I don't know why it would stop. I, I don't know. I'm kind of worried about it. Just because it costs a lot to turn it back on, right? Let's let this craft up. We'll take a look. See what it's all about. And then we'll head out. I think we're going to go on the Maywing. So let's pick up the cat. We're definitely taking it with us today. And I'm hoping... Oh, dude. So the thing that has me worried is the swamp cave, right? I don't know if there's going to be any gas in there. I've been looking online for a mod or something that would allow us to craft a food for, like, protection against the poison. But nobody's made a mod for that. There's no primitive ones either. I was hoping to put something on our armor instead of the hat skin. There's one that's really, really old from 2016 that's like a little breather that goes there, but it only protects you from torpor stuff, not from actual gas. So, I don't know, man. We're going to have to, I think, spawn in a gas mask. Ah, it's going to suck, but it's what it is. And this is almost done. Kind of curious. Kind of curious. So, there's our first mithril alloy. <laughs> I don't know what else I was expecting, but that's pretty cool. So, we should be able to get, what, probably eight or so of them, I think, right? And that'll kind of take care of that. I think it's 10 for building one of the boss spawners. Interesting, man. Interesting. Not too bad. However, we have some other business to take care of today. Let's grab a little bit of water on the way out. Let's grab some honey for the road. Just because the bees are busy. We'll fill up our canteen and then head right over to the swamp. You got another point. Let's put it into... Yeah, well, let's get out of here and then I'll put it in while I'm getting water. What you can do is a little dance. There we go. Let's put it into damage. I think everything else is doing okay for now. And that's good there. Nice, man. Nice. All right. So, like I said, we're going to head over. Let's do... Let's do the tree platform first. We'll get that out of the way. Just make sure that it clips on. And then if so, we'll start looking for a tree that we actually want to leave it on. So we won't be kind of clipping it on today. Head over to the swamp. Check out the cave. And then we'll head over and I'll show you that new area that I found. It's it's kind of exciting, man. I don't know. Kind of interested to see what it is for sure. And then if we see any of the berserk creatures along the way, I definitely want to stop to kill them off. So here's the other thing too about those. So like the Ravager and stuff, you get the nice saddles from. I don't know if there's a Raptor saddle, but I definitely want to kill them off. But dude, we get so much more from attacking the dwarves out there in the swamp and stuff. So I'm kind of, kind of on the fence. But if we see them, regardless, we'll go ahead and stop and kill them. And get some of the loot and stuff. Alright, so here's one of the trees right here. We'll stop up there. See if we can attach it. Throw out the cat. And then jump down into the swamp. There's one right here, too. Go ahead and just do this one. Alright, since we're here. Let's throw you out. We will pick you back up. I don't feel safe on the ground, man. <laughs> I don't feel safe. I did do some more exploring through here. I'll tell you what. The area is fantastic, man. So much stuff around. <gasps> we can! So you can actually put a tree platform on these. Now the next question is, can you put a sap tap in it? 
Probably should have brought one. Doesn't really matter. It would be weird if you could. I think you shouldn't be able to get the sap from these because it's not a redwood. But that is not too bad, man. So it all depends on, too, what gets built over there. Maybe we'll wait to move until he does the next update and updates that stuff over there because if there's a lot of stuff we want, I mean, there's an obelisk right there, which is nice. It'll make it easier for transferring in between the maps and stuff. So what we could do is put it on one of these and then we'll have access to get over there a lot easier because there is a land bridge. I'll, just, I'll show you. Not that. <laughs> just where you come up. There's a couple land bridges. Oh, there's one right there. So there's uh, one that goes across here. There's another one down there. I think that just attaches to right here, doesn't it? Yep, easy, buddy, easy. Yeah, it does, right here. So it's kind of neat, man. You got the swamp here. You got the green obelisk over there, so we might just end up building around this area. And then... There's one other thing in here I found. Yep, we just kind of jumped right into the swamp. Did not think that through. Yep, let's say, did the gator see us? Of course he saw us. Why wouldn't he see us? All right, buddy. You, I don't mind. Oh, there's some more dwarves. They do respawn. I wasn't sure if they were going to respawn. I was going to say, as long as the capros don't come for us, we should be okay. But this might be a little bit overpowered with how much stuff you get if you get loot from them every time, you know? It should be a cooldown for sure on looting stuff. I'm going to tell you what the damage these guys have. So we didn't get anything from that. Okay. Kind of has me worried. Unless there is that cooldown that I was talking about, you know? Okay, cool. Not bad. Not bad. So, where are we going to? I don't want to go that way. I don't want to fight the other ones. Let's let them be for right now. That's kind of cool that they do respawn, though. Oh, the cap rose! Please, I'm sorry! Uh-huh. You're on the ground now, ain't you? Oh, the guys came for us, too. <laughs> they run! Super fast, dude. Look, I was gonna let you live. Oh, there's some more stuff there. Okay. Yeah, so maybe if the amount of stuff you get was halved, it wouldn't be so bad. That's just a lot, man. You get a lot of ores and stuff easily that way. I dropped that and that stuff. So our pick is 173 and 109. Ours is better. And we don't need that either. So here's our swamp. So let me show you. I, well, I can't show you the coordinates because I don't have a GPS. Can't make one. So we're roughly at, I think it was 5010. And that'll bring you right here. And that's the entrance to this. Buddy. <laughs> He's got an arrow right to the forehead. Oh, man. Look. Oh, it disappeared already. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry, man. Let's see if we can go all the way down in here with the cat. We can't. We have to get off of him and throw him. Oh, we can. We could fit. Okay, okay, let's get a torch out. We have one. Make things easier to see. So let's see if we start taking any kind of damage from poison. It's kind of... Oh, I'm really worried if we are. We're not, though. That's a long ways down, though. Holy crap, dude. It's like an aberration area? Does this connect to the other... cave system? That looks fantastic, man. Turn the light off. That is awesome. Turn the light back on. Hard to see me. Hard to see. Got some shallow water. Okay. Lovely, uh, lovely waterfall. Okay, okay. I like it. I like it. No creatures, though. Oh, wait. Is that it? It's a building cave. It's a building cave. It's a building cave. Dude, that wouldn't be too bad to build down here. I wonder if the water's drinkable. It is. Hmm. Interesting. I like the purple. I like the cave. However, <laughs> I totally thought there was going to be more to it. thought there was going to be something else down here. It's kind of neat, though, man. There's some small areas here for building. Small little base you can do, like, on this side. Have a nice little walk across bridge there and have the rest of your base over here. Oh, dude, we might build a little base in here, too. You got the purple that lights it up. The waterfall isn't too loud. Right? It's pretty soft. That's the one thing about being around waterfalls. I think they look awesome in arc, but they're usually, like, so loud, man. That's not too bad. Put a little doorway here so nothing comes down for you. 
I like it. I like it. <laughs> I thought it was going to be an artifact cave. So I wonder if there is an artifact cave in the swamp. You kind of think there would be. Hmm. Anyways, let's continue on our exploring list. I want to head over and show you that new area that I found. There's something there that kind of, uh, it's different. Let's just put it like that. Oh, there's a wheat. There we go. Spawn right at the wrong place. I mean, it was kind of terrifying that we had the Spino waiting here for us whenever we came here last time. But it's kind of neat, man. I don't know. I really like this swamp. I like how it's in between two big cliffs, right? So let's try to get out of here without getting any leeches or getting ripped off our team. Oh, yeah, there was something else in here I wanted to show you. Let me try to find one real quick. Hold on. This might be one of the trees. It's not. Give me a second. It might be this other one over here. There's something with the trees I want to show you that is pretty neat. Oh, this is one right here. So. You can actually build these. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's kind of neat, dude. There's different ways in. You can block them off, of course. Put down some fence foundations. And then have your base in a tree. This one has a big core in the middle. There's a couple that I saw through here that are pretty open. It's a lot easier to get in and out of. But it'd be kind of neat, man. I don't know. They're the really big trees, and you can't tear them down or anything. I forget where the other one is. I found one after last video that was extremely large on the inside and open and everything. It'd be pretty cool to build in. But anyways, man, it's a little stuff like that that makes Ark very, very interesting. It might be this one up here. Let's take a look. It is. This is the one. So yeah, man, see? See how much more room there is in here? You could definitely put a base in here, especially the size of ours, right? We don't have too much stuff. Have your storage, your little crafting stations and stuff in here. You can still wall these off, maybe do some glass here. And that way you can still see out. Things can still see in. <laughs> but we, we might build a little outpost base in one of these too. I like it, man. I like it. It's like I said, it's a little stuff in art. All right, let's get around the side over here and I'll show you that other stuff. And something else a lot of people brought up in the comments I didn't think about. We found that area over here that looks like the Dragon Trench, right? It's got the same kind of material and stuff for the terrain. I thought that might be where they're going to add one in. But there's no flyers on this map. So there's no reason for them to be here. So I don't know, man. I don't know what's going to be up here. I'm sure there's something planned. It definitely looks like the start of a cave or something. So we'll have to, have to keep an eye on it and see what's going to be over here. All right, so one of the things I want to look at... So right up there is the dragon area that I thought was going to be the dragon area. Let me show you down here what I found. So I came back this way whenever I left after the last video. Just to see what was down here. And dude, look at this area, man. So you have another one of the statues. Oh, look at this door. Can I please get off the rock? Holy crap, dude. Look at this door. I'm really hoping this is not just terrain. We good? I saw you coming. Get out of here, man. You're not welcome. All those, all those pellets, and I couldn't even hit it. There we go. Get out of here, man. But yeah, I don't know what's up with it. So there's no way to interact with it. I don't, uh, I don't know what that means. And I thought maybe there was something with this guy, but I think it's just a statue, just some terrain. So I don't know. That might be another area that's being worked on. He might just, might just have it blocked off for now. Looks pretty cool. Wish I could read what that said up there, but... I don't know any dwarven language. Okay, can you guys please leave me alone? So, that is one of the things I found. The next thing I found is going to be right up here. It's another uh, another area. Again, I left and I went up this way. Got to get across here. There are some beavers down in here too, though, which is kind of neat. Some over there, and there was a beaver dam. Not sure what happened to it. It was down there. <laughs> they had it built. At the bottom, man. Not a prime location. Holy crap, there's a car now there. Yep. Excuse me, sir. I do not want to mess with you today, please, and thank you. Look, look, buddy. We talked about this, man. We got to sharpen them claws, okay? Need to put that on the list of things to do. But the next place is going to be just right up here, following this path. All right, so right here by this drop, there is another cave, and there is a Dinosuchus. Level 85, too. I hear you, little Trudons, man. Tell you what. I should kill them off because I definitely want to get this drop. Oh, the drop! Literally disappeared right as we were there. All right, let's get rid of these guys. Okay, okay. Yep. Multiples. So I've also had some people ask why 
couple videos ago, whenever I was fighting the Trudons on foot, why they didn't knock me out, it's because I had the high fortitude, man. My fortitude is at 90. It kind of helps with being knocked out and stuff. So you last a little bit longer. Go ahead and eat this. But yeah, there's a cave, man. I found this other cave here. Didn't go in. Wanted to save it for this. So yeah, just right around there is where we were with the Dwarven Door and then the Swamp and stuff. So location of this is roughly, I would say at about, what, 90-12? Right about there. Kind of at the edge of the map. So let's head in. <laughs> Do some testing. I want to see if we can take the cat in, if it's going to be big enough. And then I want to see if we can actually... Yep, just load it in. If we can actually throw him out in here. Let's see if it's an artifact cave or not. You know, we could probably get in here with the Ravager. It's too big for him, I think. Let's hop off. Let's back up so we don't get stuck. Definitely want to keep this. Okay, okay. Take all that stuff. Now let's see if we get in here a little bit further. Yep, there we go. <gasps> We're taking damage? What was that? Oh, we are! Is this the poison cave? So, 550, what is it, 30 per tick? Oh, we can't out-heal that. Oh, we can't out-heal it. Can we throw this out? We can't! This is an artifact cave. Oh, there's a lot of stuff. Okay, look, look, look. I know that was just, <laughs> I know that was just the bees, but... I don't want any problems. We could out-heal that, I think, with the medical brew. That was a long loading lag coming out. So I wonder if... I see you, man. I see you coming. Uh-huh. Yep, yep. I know, man. Don't talk about my aim, okay? I don't play first-person shooters for a reason. <laughs> that would be it. So I wonder... I wonder if we can actually out-heal that. We could try it. If I built some foods, too, right, for health regen, that would kind of heal us over time between that and then eating medical brews. We'd have to eat a ton of medical brew. Let's do some testing. Let's see. Let's go back in here. Oh, there's a spider. Come out here, dude. Yep. Don't say you got bad aim, but you don't. Come over here, man. That was a 250. Okay, so that's cave level stuff in there, too. Definitely an artifact cave. Let's get in here where this stuff is. We'll try the medical brew. See if we can outheal the damage. I'm kind of interested if that's going to work. Okay, so we are taking damage. We'll let it get down just a little bit. The problem is going to be getting a creature in here. So I was wanting to use the Andrew Sarkis, right? That was my plan, was using the Andrew Sarkis. And you can kind of avoid getting damage from... Oh, we are out healing it. You can avoid damage from the clouds, but I don't think he's going to fit through this part. And then we can't throw them out in here, so that's definitely not going to work. We can out-heal this for sure, dude. If we build some foods and make a ton of medical brew up... A little bit of healing over time with the food, too. That is definitely doable, long as we manage it. It's going to be a ton of micromanaging. So I think what we'll do... We'll set up, uh, probably in, you know, one of the upcoming videos, we'll build some custom foods and stuff. I'll get a lot of stuff together from medical brew. Probably gonna need about 10 stacks or so. And then we'll attempt this one time on, what, like, well, I want to say on foot, we'll probably have the Ravager in here. I don't know if he'll take damage. But we'll try it once without a gas mask, see how that goes, and then kind of go from there. The problem's gonna be, is whenever we start taking damage from creatures and stuff too, trying to outheal that, plus the poison, that might become an issue. So I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm kind of uh, kind of curious if we can do it, man. A lot of people are saying we can't. Kind of makes me want to try to see if we can. But we'll uh, we'll see, man. I'm kind of interested. And there is a cold area up here. I don't know how far it goes. I did see it whenever I was down here. I want to see if it's open. I don't know if it's closed off for being built or not. 22. The temperature dropped quick. Oh, there's another one of the islands there. Didn't even notice that. Get your spring loaded, buddy. There we go. Should probably be on the cat up here. I'm just saying. Just depending on what's going to be around. If there is anything. Like I said, I don't know if it's still being built up here or not. I didn't think the cold area was going to be around. Some mammoths. Okay, okay. I like it. Some obsidian. I like it. I like it. Nice view. What is that? 
but we'll head over there on the way out too. So after I saw this stuff, I went back around through the swamp to go back. Oh, there's the teleporter there. I'm guessing that's for the floating island right over there, huh? Interesting. Oh, there's a castle up here. Oh, dude, is there gonna be more dwarves? So those are some more of the loot boxes. I don't want to hit those. I know you get a lot of resources. Is this blocked off? Can we open these? I think I tried before. We can't. Got some pigs up here as well. Okay, okay, okay. Nice little area. I wonder if there's a cave. Oh, dude, please tell me there's a cave up here. Excuse me. Please don't hit me. Ton of the boxes, though. Not that one. Now we're at the edge of the map. What was that? Ah, there are some dwarves. <laughs> Want to raid your castle, man. Nice, nice. A little bit more stuff. I like it. Is there just one? What happened to your army, man? Oh, there's a loot box. Aha. What is this? Is that a normal drop? Nice. I like that. That's going to be a nice ascendant hide shirt. And then we've got a raptor saddle. Interesting. What's the durability on the chest piece? 260! Hmm. Might end up using that instead of this. That's 100 armor. That's 90, but that is super easy to repair. Yep, dude's having a bad day down there. So none of these are able to be built in. <laughs> there was just one archer guarding his whole place, man. Can't go in. Interesting. Kind of thought maybe you'd be able to, but we're kind of on the map border too. Again, I know you can get a lot of stuff from those boxes. I just don't want to hit them. A lot of it is going to be the the polymer, right? The built polymer. I don't want to use any of that. We're doing pretty good with just using organic. Buddy, you're kind of stuck down there, man. Just saying. Oh, there's another one. We good? Is there any more archers? This is something I liked about Fjordor mod map, having the loot crates all over. Megalodon Saddle, nice. Probably gonna be needing one of those. Is that built in a smithy? I think it is. Wait, is that built in your inventory? It is, interesting. Okay, well, we're definitely keeping it then. That was out of what, 170 something? Holy crap, dude, 178. I'll take it. I'll have to check back up here to see if those respawn or if it's a one-time use thing. There's another, okay. My Ladon. Another archer. Got the pig on us too. Fantastic. I like it. I like it. The more the merrier. Dude, he's doing 306 damage. What level is he? 270. Man, those archers are no joke, man. I do like how all of them don't drop you loot too. Is there anything else up here that we need to see? Can you hang tight there? <laughs> Just... Don't move, buddy. Don't move. Stay there. I want to see what's in here. Oh, it goes up. Interesting. That sounded terrifying. What was that? Is that a Yudi? I like it, man. I like it. I wish there was more here. I know. I know. I'm asking for a lot. I'm just saying. It's a cool area for sure. That would be nice if there was a ton of the guys would spawn in here too. Went to the dwarves. Anything in the middle before we head out and go? Smile on, okay. Wouldn't mind building in here too. Ah oh, man, I wish you could go inside of those. Nice little castle area though. Cool. Well, let's head over. Seems like we're doing a little bit of exploring again today. Take a look at. Yep, I saw you spawn right in front of me, you got hacker. We'll see what the other area was over there. Let's just get out the Maywing. A little bit of stuff here we need to keep. And we'll start making our way back towards base and see what's over there. I wanted to keep this and the hide. Really shy on hide back at base. But yeah, we'll check on the forge and see how that's doing. I'm sure it's doing fine, man. I'm sure it's doing fine. I'm just kind of nervous because we got so much stuff in there, you know? Alright, so you got another point. Let's put it back into damage. Yep, do your little dance, man. Do your little dance. Load your springs up, and off we go. I think we can make it all the way over there. But yeah, we're kind of on the map border here, too, so it's kind of nice, man. 
lot of stuff on this place. Good places to build and whatnot, too. So what's up here? There's some more of the Dinotheriums over there. So I didn't want to have any, like, large creatures on this map, but I think those we might end up taming. Just because, I don't know, it seems like they fit really, really well on this map. And we haven't done much with them. So that's something we'll have to kind of get going is some beer barrels. This would be kind of neat to build on. Nice and flat up here. Oh, it's a waterway. Oh, I remember seeing this over down there. So that should be the other cave then, right? The one I was looking for that has the Dwarven Forge inside? That's a good place to build though. Nice and flat. That's uh, another area to keep in mind. Let's uh, check over here real quick. So yeah, there's a red tree. This is what I thought was down further that way. And this is the other cave entrance. Oh, okay, here it is, man. So this is where the original Dwarven Forge was. When there was only one. Do not fall in the lava. Please tell me there's a barrier there. Oh, there's not. <laughs> you fall in, you're losing all your stuff. I'm just saying. But yeah, here's the original one. It's like the one back at base. Awesome area. Very, very nice area. And I think you can build in these, too. They're all open. Kind of like we have back at base that we live in. See if anything's changed while we're in here. I like the lights, man. Really like those. Yeah, here's the exit here. Nice, man. Nice. So there's quite a few artifact caves we still got to find. So we have the one over there that we just found. And then there's got to be a couple more, man. There's got to be. Because... I think we need like six of them, I think is on this map. But here's one of the little launch pads too. I wonder if we're gonna find more of these. Yep, up we go. <laughs> and then Pace is like right over here. Oh wait, what is this? So there is another cave actually. Is it? I don't know where we're at. They're right over here? Hold on, while we're on the glider, let me take a look. It might be on the other side of this. I saw it the other day, and I forgot to put a pin on the map. It's kind of hard whenever I don't have the GPS. Let's land right here. I think it's... There it is. So there's another cave there. Didn't go in it yet. I don't know... Let's double check. Again, we're doing testing today. Turn the lights up. Let's see if we can throw a team out in here. It might just be another building cave, too. Oh, it is. It's a building cave. Okay, I thought it might be... Dude, I like the blue! thought it might be an artifact cave. There are so many places I want to build bases. I mean, you know me in blue. That is some fantastic lighting. My eyes look kind of weird with that. Interesting. I was hoping it was going to be an artifact cave. I've been avoiding it the past couple times I've seen it. Because I saw the light outside. thought maybe it was just like a marker for it. Kind of cool. All right, I'll see you back at base. We'll double check on our stuff and kind of go from there. I'm telling you, man, it's like Galley Central around here. There are so many of those guys everywhere. It'll be uh, it'll be nice to move base here soon, though. I definitely want to be able to be somewhat near a forge. I mean, it's kind of a uh, kind of a a big thing for this map, right? And I don't know if the sparkles are from these shine horns or what, but they look fantastic in this area. Just saying, I really like them. What's up, guys? Made it back safe. Nobody died today. Again. Just saying. Doesn't happen often. Wait, did I? Did I leave a bag? When I picked up the Maywing? Nah, I picked everybody up. I think we're fine. We're fine. So how are we doing here? So we got some more of those making up. We'll have a couple more of those. I guess you can't auto-craft those always. We've got a ton of the metal ingots. I like that. So the thing with these two is it's a lot lighter than regular metal. So I kind of like that too. Like the, the raw ore, it's a lot easier to carry, but then you still got the high weight on the finished product too. So I don't know, man. It's a, it's a nice change on stuff, on resources. Go ahead and get rid of all this. Not you. Go throw all this back into here. We might as well smelt this up while we have it too. While this is going. I mean, it's not that expensive to turn on anymore, seeing how we know how to get the crystals and stuff easier. And it lasts for so long, dude. Gotta get all those going. Wait a minute. I only had five more, and let me craft all of these. Oh, it's a one-to-one. -one. That's right. I keep forgetting. That's a one-to-one, -one, and that's a five-to-one. I was gonna say, is that... <laughs> Thought we broke it there for a second. What else have we got? 
some blueprints, a saddle. I think we're going to keep the saddle just built. I don't want to make it into a blueprint. It's going to be super expensive. We'll throw these into here. And then the platform, we'll definitely end up building on that. I'm not sure what, but it'd be kind of neat to build over in that area. I really like the location, man. Let's put this stuff into here before we go. Need to get a food trough set up as well. Ah, dude, well, not too bad of a day. So we figured out about the forge and stuff. We finally got that turned on, got some more metal smelting up. I'll probably do some more harvesting off camera just to pack that full and get as much metal as we can. It's super simple with the gold, right? Because it comes down to a one-to-one -one ratio when it refines. We found out about the cave in the swamp is just a cave to build in. Fantastic looking cave. And then we found that door. I don't know what that door goes to. We'll have to see, man. That might be something that's still being worked on or maybe something we have to figure out. I'll have to uh, have to do a little bit of searching and see. However, we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next one.